Okay, with your hand appears to contain a uh, social networks and social social platforms have limitations. Uh, the last video was only solely for YouTube. But this is for all the social networks. Except LinkedIn. LinkedIn is pretty good with the limitations. They don't have any. I'm talking about Twitter, Facebook, and now YouTube. And maybe um, the iHeart and Pandora where we have limited station, radio stations where people we like to listen to. Also for Facebook and Twitter, your limitations and how many friends we have compared to how many um, like Twitter, how many followers we have, we have to have such an amount of following, following people we can have before we can follow anymore. On Facebook, we have to have 5,000 friends on Facebook, only 5,000. I'm happy with my number because I don't follow, I am not friends with political people anymore, but just two by what vile and nasty, the reason why I'm off Twitter now, not just the limitations. Also, how many pages we can like? Just 5,000? <laughs> Lucky one part of the unlimited thing they had, now I have 9,000 pages. However, there are some pages we like to like. Not just follow, like. So I'm sick and tired of these limitations of people who we can do it with. Second of all, I'm so fed up with the security part of Twitter and Facebook. They do squat to secure your um, privacy. Like on Twitter, they have no privacy things at all. People can tweet to you anything they like. Hate fun. You can actually take pictures of your tweets and then post them. And then Facebook, yeah, they have uh, limitations on who can see your posts and who can be your friends. But no privacy when people want to contact you. Um, like messages. I have friends who message me, that's okay. But we have messages request from God knows who. Like last year, on this past situation with Tavon Wo, who I mentioned in the other video where um, I saw something on um, GoFundMe page which was not offensive, not racist, it was just photoshopped two words out of the comment. I know, I said, why don't you go for small and simpler, cheaper funeral, but they photoshopped out simpler and smaller. I have a feeling somebody followed me and they just wanted a way to catch a moment to me. They just found me, obviously. And then, it's like no privacy. They can't protect us. I practically had to tweet and Facebook comments on the police departments and the FBI to make sure these people would stop doing that to me. To me. Um, I actually had Instagrammed photos of what I said and emailed. Yes, yeah, somebody put it up to my stuff and I wanted the truth out of them. And Instagram, they only have limitations of who to follow and who following you, but they don't have privacy for people who want to follow you. Yeah, disgusting. And then, um, let me think, there's something else. Um, pictures. 
and that's why we post things, um, I had to make my Facebook stuff private, against away from the public, just a good woman named Carol Sims, who worked at Rochester Psych Center, decided to be one of the patients and go psycho. I didn't want to have to run well, which was definitely not bad, and which took my job away from me. Um, she actually took all my posts and shared it, and actually prejudged me before she even got to know me. No, no, Carol. That was a big mistake, and you just turned me into an enemy of yours. And I'm not sorry that you possibly lost your job because of what you did to me and your Facebook wall. It's called karma. Deal with your right back at you, bitch. <laughs>